What is up, guys? It's me, Dalton, the DBC fan, and today we are doing part four of the Let's Play of Dragon Ball Z Budokai, and we are at Vegeta's Attack. Because uh, in part three, at the end, I defeated the fake Vegeta while Goku was on a ship going to Namek. And while Goku was doing that, Vegeta was doing the exact same thing, except Vegeta got there first, and that's what we're getting ready to do. And we're not going to see the promo. Because my phone's still not good at keeping the time that well. I'm going to do more than one Let's Play, but this is not a Let's Play day. Where I'm going to do it all day. That's Zarbon. One of Frieza's soldiers. And no, he's not a girl. He's a guy, too. And I am Vegeta. I have the Gallic Gun. No, the Gallic Cannon. Oh, that's the Gallic Gun. I think. Final Flash. No, Final Bash. Meteor Flash and Nose Crash Dive. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I am Vegeta. And at this time, Vegeta still had his chest plate. Shoulder blade armor. Shoulder armor. I don't like it because it just looks weird on him. The normal Vegeta doesn't have that. And the new Vegeta in the Dragon Ball Super, he doesn't even wear the armor at all. Here's a Meteor Flash. I see why that's called Meteor Flash. Zarbon, you're so easy, dude. Maybe this guy had plastic surgery to become he looks like a girl. I don't know. It doesn't look like he has tits. But then he doesn't look like but then he doesn't look like he has a dick either, so I don't know. He could be a girl with just really, really little tits, I don't know. He's almost dead, he or she. I'm gonna call it a he. But one more move, it's dead. Not dead, but defeated. You get the idea. Damn it, quit blocking. Quit blocking, you fucking gay queer ass pickle. Okay, we did that. Oh my god, dude. If you got, I know you guys can see that, but the face he was showing. Oh, very careless, Zarbon. Ha ha ha. Vegeta, your voice sounds. Your voice is so voice is so easy to do. To actually, pretend you're doing. Well, I defeated him. I defeated Zarbon. Now the Ginyu Force is here. Yay. Just yay. And I'm being sarcastic. I hate the Ginyu Force. Of course, we're here with the dumbass Birder. Somehow, Birder. No, not Birder. No, Raccoon. Yeah. I have no clue why I thought Birder. Birder now. How does Vegeta lose to Raccoon? Raccoon is so damn stupid. But somehow he's the best fighter of them all. Yep, Raccoon looks like he has orange hair. And he, yeah, he looks like Nappa, kind of. Height wise, he does. And armor. But besides that, no. And if you look, if you can see, uh, Raccoon has Vegeta's shoes. He has the exact same shoes. And gloves. Yeah, I don't know how Vegeta got beat by this guy. He's so damn stupid. I can see it's because Vegeta has not been trained in, like, forever. Because he wanted to get... Because it took him, like, a long time to get from Planet Vegeta to Earth. But still, I mean, you should not lose to Raccoon. Who does that? Besides you, Vegeta. Nobody. It may be Krillin and Kid Gohan. But come on, Vegeta. You're the prince of all Saiyans. You're going to lose to this dummy won't let me hit him because he knows he's gonna lose and he throws a fit can't block this of course I do well you stop my key blast oh you little bitch come here come here let Uncle Vegeta touch you damn it bastard yeah eat that key blast it goes up your ass well I defeated Raccoon with these I have no clue what that is. That is not the final flash. It looks like it, but that's actually dark blue. My brightness is just pretty high. That's why I look like a bright blue. That's a, it was dark. I'm not lying to you because I don't lie that much. Okay, we have enough time to do one more, which is Goku's arrival. So Goku's going coming to Namek. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> okay. I hope I have time to finish it. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do. Probably this one. The only reason I'm doing this on the weekends is because 
this is my PlayStation 2, and it's only at my dad's. I only come to my dad's on the weekend, and my mom does not let me come during school days for some dumb reason. But, spring break's coming, because I'm still in school, and we're going to have a bunch of Let's Plays. A bunch. And there's Goku, Kid Gohan and Krillin. Now I'm Goku, and I'm beating up an injured Bakumi, and he has Kaioken times, not two, but five. Let me get something out of my throat. I, I'm feeling better. You can see I don't have a runny nose. See? I I didn't leave a scratch when I was facing him as Vegeta, but now he's not damaged. In the real, uh, actual show, Raccoon got his clothes blasted off. No, actually, Raccoon got his clothes blasted off from that looking final flash that Vegeta did. And, uh, somehow Vegeta did not get his clothes damaged. And in the real show, he did. So yeah, if you if I show you the promo, Goku beats him up so bad that he you actually see part of his ass, but I'm not showing that because I ain't got no time for that because I'm about oh you jerk. Kaioken times five. Can you guys? I don't know if you guys can see the red aura now. You probably I don't. Yeah, you can't. But that's okay. Boom! How did that not kill you? Yes, I'm punching you, dick. Ha da 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 da. Well, I did him. Watch, I'll show you since I ain't got much time left anyway. Can't see it. Never mind, good. It was an ugly ass anyway. Uh, when I first... And no, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. When I first played this, I didn't know I was going to see Raccoon's ass, so he just pretty much flashed me. And I pretty much tried flashing you guys. Now I have to face Ginyu, but we'll do that in the next one. I pretty much uh, screwed you guys up. Uh, I'll do. I'm gonna do the next one Wednesday. Until then, until then, guys. See ya.